Welcome to The Countdown, the show that counts down the five coolest things happening in space right now. In this episode, a new Mars mission, a solar system with two suns, and star-belching black holes. But first... Five! Astronauts need intense training before they launch into orbit, hundreds of miles above Earth's surface. So the European Space Agency is sending astronauts underground. The project is called Caves, and as the name suggests, astronauts will spend six days in a cave system near Sardinia, an island off the west coast of Italy. So what are they going to do down there? They'll tackle a difficult mission that's supposed to simulate the experience of working together in space. The astronauts will dig around for signs of life in the caves and also map their surroundings. Meanwhile, people will spy on their every move from outside the caverns. Four. Astronomers have discovered a whole new solar system with two planets circling two sun-like stars. We've known about two star systems before, but this is the first time we've observed planets circling them. The planets and their stars dwell about 5,000 light years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. Astronomers are checking whether or not life could exist on these planets. One of them, called Kepler-47b, may be too close to the stars to support life. And don't hold your breath for the other planet, called Kepler-47c. It's a gas giant the size of Uranus, that's how you pronounce it, so don't make any comments, and not suitable for life as we know it. Three. Remember the Voyagers, those two NASA space probes that launched 35 years ago? They're headed deep into interstellar space, and we've been expecting Voyager 1 to leave the solar system for years. But more than 11 billion miles from Earth, it still hasn't happened. In May, however, scientists thought Voyager 1 was close. They noticed the probe was being pelted with high-energy particles called cosmic rays. These rays come from deep space and are normally deflected by solar winds that butt up against the interstellar medium. This marks the edge of the sun's influence. To be sure Voyager 1 was saying farewell, scientists looked for a crosswind of charged gas particles blowing through the probe's path. But it just wasn't there. This means the cosmic rays were a false alarm, and Voyager 1 likely has many more miles to go before it escapes our solar system. How many? Nobody knows for sure. The research appears in the September 6th issue of the journal Nature. Two. Don't freak out or anything, but we're surrounded by black holes. Millions and millions of them. NASA's WISE telescope, which stands for Wide Field Infrared Survey, has turned up about three times more black holes than we previously found. That's 2.5 million new black holes lurking somewhere out there. And these black holes aren't just your garden variety black holes formed by a collapsing star. These are the super humongous active kind that eat other stars for lunch and belch out radiation from their chewy centers. Astronomers call them quasars. So why didn't we see them before? We've got stardust to blame. No, not the 70s incarnation of David Bowie from the movie Ziggy Stardust. I'm talking about the cosmic dust spit out by stars when they go supernova and blow their bits all over the universe. This dust blocks light and other radiation, making it difficult for telescopes to see objects like quasars. Fortunately, cosmic dust doesn't block infrared light, and that's why WISE was able to see these star-munching monsters. One. If you had 425 million bucks to blow on a space mission, would you pick A, a boat for Saturn's moon Titan, B, a comet-hopping robot, or C, another Mars probe? I was rooting for A, but NASA picked C and has scheduled that mission for launch in 2016. Unlike the Mars Curiosity rover, which can climb mountains, fire friggin' laser beams, and dig in the dirt, the new robot, called InSight, will stay put. Once InSight touches down on Mars, it will hammer a rod 15 feet into the ground to take the red planet's temperature. Other instruments at the surface will listen to Mars quakes and see just how much the planet wobbles while orbiting the sun. Why did NASA pick InSight, a souped-up version of a probe that landed in 2008? Because they're cheap! Both the boat and the comet hopper, NASA said, are cool missions, but they're too risky to commit to in the current fiscal environment. I'm Dave Mosher, and that's it for this episode of The Countdown. For links to all of these stories and more, visit scientificamerican.com forward slash The Countdown. The link's in the description below. And that's it for me, too. I've got a new job and can't continue hosting the show. But keep watching. It's awesome. Really, it's... It's awesome. It's, uh, it's a great show. Uh, guys? Hello? Hello? Hey, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. Hello?